Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the nucleophilic addition reactions of aldehydes and ketones, focusing on nitrogen nucleophiles leading to imines. Uh, and in this video, uh, I'm going to show you the mechanism for the formation of an imine uh, from the reaction of an aldehyde, though this also works with ketones. Um, let's use acid aldehyde, something simpler, simple for my mechanism. And we're going to use oh, let's actually, let's just use ammonia. This reaction requires acid and like the formation of acetals with alcohol nucleophiles, it requires the removing of water. And the product uh, looks like this. There's this this carbon nitrogen double bond functional group is imine. And in, in another video, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the different types of imines that can form. Uh, and I'm also going to talk about hydrolysis of imines coming up in another video. This is the formation of imines. Like the formation of acetals and things, uh, the formation of an imine actually follows a sequence of of mechanisms that we already know, uh, starting with nucleophilic addition. Uh, while while a, a nitrogen nucleophile is, you know, a nitrogen, nitrogen is a more nucle stronger nucleophile than uh, oxygen, and so ammonia is a better nucleophile than. Uh, uh, an alcohol, we still need uh, we still need acid to make this work, and I'm actually showing this uh, proton not just generically but attached to ammonia. Ammonia is a base, so anything that generates you know, any, anything that has acid is going to react with ammonia to form the ammonium cation. Uh, so. Ammonia is going to be the source of our acid here. Ammonium cation is actually uh, a weaker acid than uh, the protonated alcohols. So this equilibrium definitely lies even more in favor of the aldehyde or ketone. So that's an important reason why later on down the line we will need to remove water as it forms. And because we used ammonia as a neutral nucleophile, uh, it still has its extra proton. Oops. And so we have a positive charge here that needs to be removed. And in this case, we actually have a pretty clearly good best choice for our base, and that is ammonia, because ammonia is base. So we regenerate the, we take away this extra proton, we regenerate the ammonium cation, and so this thing, if you want to keep track of the names of such things, it's called a hemiaminal. So aminal looks like animal, but the M and the N is are switched. The next step now we're going for uh, removing the leaving group from the carbon nitrogen double bond is an E1 elimination. This kind of, of pathway is available to with nitrogen nucleophiles because they have a diff additional hydrogen atoms that you can remove. This kind of pathway is not available when you have an alcohol as a nucleophile. It only has one hydrogen that can be removed and, and it's removed in the nucleophilic addition step. Step one, proton transfer. The, we need the, the leaving group to be a better leaving group. Go. And uh, copy the hemi ami now. Better leaving group. Step two, loss of leaving group. 
forward, reverse. Leaving groups gone. Carbocation intermediate. This carbocation intermediate has an important resonance contributor. And then, so whether you want to draw the proton transfer coming from whichever resonance contributor you want. Again, we have uh, ammonia. as the strongest base present. So we could draw that proton transfer at either resonance contributor, doesn't matter. They are equivalent to each other. They're different representations of the same cation. And you get the imine. There we are, E1 elimination. Um, I really just want to do a brief introduction uh, to stereochemistry. This isn't worth spending a lot of time on, um, but in fact, even this, which is amongst the simplest of all imines, has kind of two different apparent diastereomers. Um, So most undergraduate courses tend to ignore the, the steric and electronic effects on the, on the stereochemistry of imines, but imines can have stereochemistry. It's also easier for imines to uh, interconvert between the two stereoisomers, especially in protic situations. Uh, so there's some folks that don't spend, they don't put a lot of you know, effort into the to trying to be to controlling of imine stereochemistry, but it, they, they do have stereochemistry. Right? In the next video, we'll talk about some different types of amines or, or the reactions of different uh, nitrogen nucleophiles. Uh, then we'll talk about, then there'll be a video on imine hydrolysis. Thank you for watching.